Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. We're gonna talk about something fun for a change. I yes. Guess. Until it hits eBay, then it's not gonna be fun. Uh, McDonald's Halloween buckets are coming back. Remember those from the 80s? If you're an 80s yes. kid? Uh, a lot of people remember these and they were very popular and they disappeared a number of years ago, but now there's a rumor that they're coming back and they look like they did in the mid 80s. I think it's cool. I'm I kind of excited cool. about it. I think it's pretty Actually, cool. Actually, I said about the Squid King and he got all excited about it. Yeah, so Halloween's cool because you see all this stuff from when we were kids make a comeback, like the monster cereals come back every year. We got Fruit Brute this year. Mm -hmm. And I am a huge, huge monster cereal fan. It's true. We have big monster cereal mascot heads on our wall. We have mascot heads on the wall. We got the action figures. We got the game, which I've never played the tabletop game. You need to play that. Yes, we do have the game. We have played it. Cereal challenge or whatever it is. But yeah, I'm a huge uh, Halloween monster cereal fan. They used to be available. See, that's how awesome the 80s were. The monster cereal monster cereals were available year round. Yeah, I remember. Right? When you were a kid, you just got, went to the store and got them. Yeah, every every day was Halloween. They, they were, were good. Living in a dystopian I'm more of a Count Hellscape. Chocula person <laughs> myself. Um, because I just, cho I'm basic. I like chocolate, <laughs> so just give me chocolate and keep it coming. I like Frankenberry because I'm I big and love, fruity. You love Frankenberry. Oh, there was one time we were at a convention. We were at um, Steel City in Pittsburgh, and somebody came in with a Frankenberry. Oh, the steampunk the Frankenberry. Steampunk Frankenberry. Oh yeah, my God, it was the most cool. amazing thing. If you probably look it up on the internet, you'll probably find it. If you look up like Steel City Con Steampunk Frankenberry, it was so cool. Yeah, I was so was excited cool. when I saw that. Anyway. Anyway, back to the buckets, which also makes me very happy. Let's talk about the buckets. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, over 276,000 subs. Woo! Uh, check out clownfishtv.com, where this article originated. And uh, yeah, we talk a lot about retro because, you know, we're old. And uh, you know, we grew up, well, we're not that old, but we grew up in the 80s and 90s. So we remember a lot of this stuff. And everything is cycling back again because we can never have new things. We got to no. keep. No, but, but I'm okay this with is, this. This is okay. This I'm is okay, okay with this. So yeah, the, the buckets, if you remember the uh, original buckets, uh, there's a brief history of them. They started out as pumpkins. Yes, they were pumpkins. So they had names. I didn't know this. McBoo. McPunkin mm -hmm. and McGoblin. Yeah, so this is back like in 1986. 86. I don't even remember the pumpkin ones. I remember the, the lighter ones, but right. I don't remember the pumpkin ones. So there were those. And then these are the ones I remember. Yeah, they there's had the, the pumpkin and there's it's McWitch and McBoo. McGhost, McWitch, and McBoo. McWitch. I like McBoo. And then these are the more pity ones. I don't remember. These were like beyond me. And then the last time they did them, um, they just... Look like ice cream buckets to save yeah, money. Well, yeah, know. like the, <laughs> yeah, and toys. they did it again in 2016 for like Charlie Brown. I know when the kids were little, they were more like like those with the handles and yeah, stuff. And yeah, they they suck. weren't very good. <laughs> I remember that they had the ones that had the cookie cutters on top. That was actually pretty cool. Yeah, that these I I remember seeing commercials for them, but I was I was too old for them. I think that's I was too old for them too. But the cookie cutters was really cool. 93, 94. Yeah, I was yeah I was too old by then. Anyway, um, they're bringing the 80s ones back. Yay! So this is actually kind of cool. So this is going to be like McRib. They should just put McRib in the McBucket. Well, the rumor, if you go to the the chart, McRib was showing up. Wait, so what? apparently, okay, apparently the one person, this nostalgia, what was it called? Go back up. What was the site called? Uh, Nostal Nightmare and Nostalgia. Nightmare and Nostalgia. Was the one who said about it first. And they had said about how much they missed the, the buckets. And someone from McDonald's had sent them um, the copy of the internal schedule. So this is all rumor, like, by the way. Nothing's been confirmed. There's an lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. But if you look here on October 4th, McRib. And the, uh, and and um, I'm on Yom Kippur. They're gonna have me. <laughs> what McDonald's? You're tone deaf. Anyway, <laughs> um, now on this chart, it's saying the Halloween pails begin. The meals begin the twenty or eighteenth. Yeah, eighteenth is what they're saying. Eighteenth through Halloween. But they're saying the maker of Happy Meal order taking Halloween pails. I think right, they're coming into the stores on the yeah, fourth. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they're going to start them on the 18th and run through the 31st, if it's true. But if it's also true, good news, McRib is coming on October 4th. I do like a McRib every six or eight months. There you go. With pickles. And the cheese Danish is going to end on October 30th. Good. Um, or the third, or no, they're phasing it out starting the 31st. Yeah, it's not very good. It's not The very cheese good. Danish is not good. You know what? I'm I not want, recommend. I want my damn eggnog shakes this year. McDonald's. Oh, yeah, eggnog shakes. Three years in a row now, no eggnog shakes. 
Mick, actually, what the fuck? It's, it's actually a tradition. They would get, we would go watch Christmas lights, go look, drive around with Christmas lights and get the kids eggnog shakes. And we did it for years and they've been very upset because we go for the Christmas lights and there's no damn eggnog shakes. Yeah, like, I'm sorry, vanilla and chocolate don't cut it. We need, we need McNog. Um, <laughs> actually, I would drink an alcoholic McNog. Go get an eggnog shake and add McBaileys. And McBaileys. You're... That's what they need to have, McBaileys for, okay, that that's, yeah, St. Patrick's Day. Shamrock Shake, which they still have, thank you, um, which is very, very day-glow green compared to what it used to be, but that's okay, whatever. Um, Probably make you poop blue. Puts some, puts, <laughs> well, blueberry does bring it in full circle. No, um, Frankenberry does too. Frankenberry oh. makes your poop pink. Poop. Okay, but yeah, that's right because blue makes your poop green. That's what I mean. Anyway, continue. Anyway, um, so yeah, put some McBaileys in in the McShake and get McDrunk. <laughs> and then McPiss on the side of the building. Then you can McPiss all over the side of the building. Well, I was like the guy next to our McDonald's, this other restaurant, the one McDonald's we go to. He came out the back door and he McBarfed all over the alley. He didn't work at McDonald's, but he worked, he worked at the, at the restaurant, restaurant next, next door. We watched, we know, we never went to that restaurant. We've never we gone never to that will. restaurant. But he came out and literally threw up all over the building where we were sitting. And we're like, oh my God, roll the windows up. So we uh, we never ate there before and we have never eaten there ever since. He probably um, had to make shits too. I don't know. Anyway, so the, the Halloween pails are coming back. We're very, very, very excited about this. If it's supposedly, maybe possibly, maybe even though there's pictures and there's a, a calendar for McDonald's and everything showing up. This looks official. But this one came from um, another person's Marky Devo on Instagram posted this earlier today. And I literally was writing an article on this on Clownfish TV and I happened to catch this right, right after he posted it. But yeah, this, this, there's a picture supposedly of the pails. Um, now there's different, there's different expressions. They probably have stickers on. I think the original, I don't know. The original ones I thought had stickers on them. Oh, maybe that's what you you are. You can pick how you want to use your stickers. That might be the case. I don't know. It's been years. I mean, but I just think it's really cool they're coming back. I I I mean, I still like the shape of the the other ones better, the older ones better. But they even have the tops like the old ones, you know, the little little lids. I think it's really cute. She had the witch hat. I'm trying to remember. I mean, my my memory is very foggy. I had. Oh, they said it's it's probably going to be U.S. only and not in Canada, too, if it's true. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Canada. Sorry, Canada. Uh, witches are outlawed in Canada. No, they're reasons. not. I don't know. Um. So yeah, this kind of reminded me since we're talking Happy Meal toys. Like, remember the boats? No, I don't remember those. Probably not. I was barely old enough to remember these when they came out. But they like the boats and the trains go for a ton of money. These were basically just plastic cheeseburger or Happy Meal containers. They would put your food inside the boat and then they give you a pack of stickers. And then you save the container. I don't remember these. Yeah, they had commercials for them and everything. Um, but yeah, you put the stickers on them and they, they had names. And everything. So people were like, like... Maybe I've seen the submarine one before. I, like I thought I was in the McDonald's land because I am in the McDonald's stuff too and food mascot stuff, right? Um, <laughs> it's like sex offender hamburglar. <laughs> hey, you know, I really wish they'd just bring the characters back and they don't. They don't. I don't know what happened. Um... They they redid their marketing to be more Tubby like Tugger. Tubby Tugger. Well, yeah. can that one not fly today? Get fat like Grimace. What was the other one called then? What was the first one called? Uh, this Tug- is called this Ronald River, River Boat. Boat. Okay. Uh, okay. This was a Splash, Splash Dancer. Dancer. Oh, because it was the '80s and Splash Dance. Okay, got it, got it. This this Birdie, yeah, and uh, the Tubby Tugger and Captain Hook's Rub a Dub Sub. Yeah, no, this is- <laughs> Rub a Dub. We're under the we're under the water. We're off the shore, where so laws don't use, apply here, let's rub ba- it up. Are these supposed to be used as bath toys? They were bath toys. Okay, I don't remember so maybe, these. Maybe McDonald's doesn't want to be associated with kids taking baths. I just want to play, play the boat called the Tubby Tugger. I'm just... The Tubby Tugger? <laughs> <laughs> it's not rub a dub dub with the Tubby Tugger. <laughs> so it's it like wasn't... a film that, you know, is not rated for children. Anyway. It wasn't, at least it wasn't like mayor mare... McCheese's Chubby Chaser. <laughs> or something. Actually, funny. it's funny. I have most of the mascots as pop vinyls. Uh, we don't usually collect pop vinyls, no. but I bought those because they were out and I bought them for, for Neon because he loves like the old. I love McDonald's. I like the little nuggets. Why don't they bring the nuggets in the Halloween costumes anymore? 
Because it's horrifying because you're eating them. No, but the nugget, the toy nuggets, remember them? The yeah. Co- I, the, why don't they bring yeah, they them had back? The, they were like the, yeah, I remember. They had little costumes you could change. Here, McDonald's, you want to make some serious coin? Start bringing back every so often some of these, ret- the retro. Call it your whatever retro. Re- pick a month. And every year in that month, there's like a retro week. And you could bring back one of your old things like your nuggets, the, the clothes and stuff like that. You would sell out to the adults so quickly. What was the one video that Bring back the came tubby tugger. Bring back the tubby tugger. Somebody was mad that she didn't get her McLobster or something, which is a thing. I guess New England, they had McLobster. They used to have McLobster, didn't they? I thought they did. I don't know. I don't, but never, nobody, I don't eat lobster anyway. Nobody goes. They had McPizza, too. Like, nobody does. You know what I miss? I actually miss the damn Arch Deluxe. I knew, was like, I knew it was coming. I was waiting for it. McDonald's. Here we go. You want to do a 90s throwback. I want the effing Arch Deluxe. I actually liked it. I liked it. You want the environmentally unfriendly styrofoam? Yes, I want to make BLT in the styrofoam. And while we're at it, just since Hasbro's not using plastic, let's put some window boxes on the styrofoam too and throw a pack of cigarettes in there. <laughs> why not? No, no, but see, I'm, I'm completely serious here. If you took one, like one or two weeks of the year and then just make it your retro, you know, release and you do it every year, people expect it. And then do you like the old like the McDonald's themed toys. I think you would you would find a lot of people would snap those up. Well, they got sued by the puff and stuff people, I guess is what happened. They had trains. Oh, that's too. right. I don't yeah. remember the trains. I think the trains were before it's my time. It's been so many years. No one's going to remember. I think people remember this one of puff and stuff. Yeah, which is Ironically, have a lunchbox of that that I found at the garage sale stuff, for like a dollar or two. I was very proud of that one because my husband and children were all very excited about that. Oh, it's so Do sad. Do you keep your drugs in it? Well, <laughs> no, but the kid that the kid that was on the show, he had a drug habit, yeah, because it was the sixties and seventies. People who made the show clearly had drug habit. That was that show was, I'm sure, was a highly, highly, it was more enjoyable, highly more enjoyable on drugs. It was. Um, uh, five hundred bucks. You'd have to be on drugs to spend five hundred bucks on. Oh, there's a train. I don't remember that train either. I I uh, I am vaguely aware. Five. I should remember that. I, I remember the. You know, boats. I probably had them. I'm pretty sure I did. I just don't remember these. What year were those from? These they kept bringing them back because okay. I remember. Then I probably did have these at some point. I just don't remember them. Wait, what's this? Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. The commentary is glorious on this. Yeah, wait. Okay, so this is this is this is the uh, Ronald River boat. The neat little boat is a clap back to the olden days of yore, when in order to get anywhere, you had to travel by a slow as balls steam powered paddle boat. This is a boat that Tom Sawyer of the Ship Shapes, uh, it's a Tom Sawyer of the Ship Shapes, came with the most intense sticker set of all the boats, not pictured. Every panel and every window had a specific sticker. That was true. Um, you had to install it correctly to show the story of Birdie running a crooked <laughs> back rat table on the casino level and getting busted by the <laughs> Big Mac. It's strangely very close to the same story as Titanic, but with much less drawing people like one of your French girls and instead with plenty more diabetes and childhood obesity. God, you're, you're just take, you just take the joy out of everything, don't you? <laughs> I've almost thought about buying a replacement sticker sheet. I remember that. I had this one. No, I think they brought them back like year after year. I, I, remember, I remember the Muppet remember. Babies. That I do was, remember the Muppet Babies. I had a hard time getting Kermit. I never did get Kermit. I had everybody else. I had Gonzo. I had Piggy. Let's go back to the point of this video, which oh. is, hey, guess what? Halloween buckets. The Halloween back. buckets are probably coming back. So, um, and it's not like the shitty ones. Like, they have given you the last, like, what, 10, 15 years where they, they're stupid. You can use them for that, though, if, if <laughs> well, McDonald's doesn't set well with you. With a cheap-ass handle and just, like, you know, random, like, whatever licensing they were getting that week. No, they're bringing back, um, like, the ones that from when we were a kid, which is also probably a shitty bucket with a cheap-ass handle. But it's a retro shitty bucket with a cheap-ass handle, which makes it very, very exciting and high, highly desirable to me. They should fill them up with all the uh, unsold Disney Marvel toys, like all the all the Thor toys and the Captain Marvel toys. Well, throw they them don't in a have bucket. Pokemon cards left because they no. were all on eBay. <laughs> so right, all right, we gotta wrap this up. Yeah, I just real quick, I just want to know how much he's gonna start going on eBay for. Are we gonna see like the lines of adults? You know, that's what's gonna happen if they bring the retro toys back too. But I, I can't wait because I'm an adult. I'm gonna go get a Happy Meal to get one of these. I know, I kind of want one. I, we're getting one. We're getting a couple. There you want. There said. But you look at the picture. It says there will be three pale designs. Only one will be in a restaurant at a time. 
I so wish... we will go back and get three or four Happy Meals so I can we can have them. I wish they would do like licensed ones of these because they have these fun names like McBoom McWitch. They should have like McPinhead, McLeatherface. Well, they're doing a new they're doing a new Hellraiser movie. It's coming out October seventh yeah, on yeah. Hulu. Gender Ben. <laughs> no, no, actually in the book. Pinhead was the character that was the main character was uh, okay. was a woman. Okay. So the actual source material was a female ah, because when you have someone who wants actually. to torture, when you have someone who wants to torture people, make them miserable. It's usually a woman. It's usually a woman. What well, make Freddy Krueger? All right, we're gonna wrap it up. Bye.